During my time as a Mac user, I've discovered that there are a number of applications for macOS that really elevate your experience, whether they make it easier to navigate between apps or provide useful information in the menu bar. Today, we're going to go over five of the most useful apps that I think are worth checking out. At the time of filming, all of these applications are free to download, and I'll make sure to have links to them in the description below. Before we get into those apps, I do want to say thank you. I put out a community post recently saying how grateful I am to you all for getting us to 1000 subscribers here on the channel and I just want to reiterate that here today. I know a lot of new subscribers came in because of my Steam Deck video so welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for your support on that video. Thank you for all the comments that you left. I read every single one of them. I also want to emphasize that even though I do plan on making more videos about gaming and tech. I am still growing as a YouTuber. I am still figuring out what kind of content I like to produce, so I don't want to box myself into any particular niche just yet, but I hope that you stick with me throughout that process of figuring things out. With all that said, let's get into the apps. The first app we're going to look at is Copy Clip. Copy Clip is essentially a clipboard manager for macOS. The default clipboard manager for macOS works with a single buffer, which means that you can copy an item, but then if you copy something else right after, the previous item will be overwritten. And that's not very convenient if you're someone who's copying and pasting multiple items at a time. Copy Clip is an app that lives in the menu bar and gives you a handy list of all of the items that are in your clipboard. You simply click on the paper clip icon to access the list and you can click on whichever one of the items you'd like to copy. It also gives you keyboard shortcuts for your most recently clipped items. If you go to the app's preferences, you have the option to change the amount of clippings that are remembered as well as how many are displayed. And you can also blacklist applications that you don't want Copy Clip to save information from. The second app is called Dozer. Now sometimes your menu bar can get really cluttered with the icons for all the applications that you're currently using. This is where Dozer comes in. It's an application that allows you to choose which menu bar icons are displayed and which are hidden. If we look in my menu bar, you can see that I have some icons here, and these are the ones that I have determined I want to be visible at all times. You can also see that there's this circle, and if I click on it, it expands to show additional icons. The way this works is there's actually a second circle, and when you command click on the circle, you can drag it and move it between the icons. All of the icons to the left of that circle will be hidden, and those on the right will be shown. So if you want your menu bar to be a lot simpler and less cluttered, Dozer is an app that I'd highly recommend. In macOS, there's a feature that allows you to tile a window to the left or right of your screen, but there isn't a way to natively have finer control over how you reposition your windows. This is where Rectangle is useful. Rectangle is a window management application that allows you to snap your windows more precisely to different parts of the screen using keyboard shortcuts. Rectangle also gives you a handy menu bar icon which shows you the keyboard shortcuts for different window positions. In the app's preferences, you can change the key bindings for your shortcuts, as well as access different settings like whether you want to launch the app at login, hide the menu bar icon, and even move the cursor along with the window if you're using multiple displays. Hand Mirror is an application that gives you quick access to your webcam through your menu bar so that you can use it as a mirror. It's perfect for those times when you have to attend a virtual meeting or take a quick call and you want to make sure that you're looking presentable and that there's no lettuce stuck in your teeth without going to an actual mirror. You could technically do that with Photo Booth, but Hand Mirror saves you a few clicks. The Hand Mirror icon looks conveniently like a mirror, which when clicked shows you what your webcam sees. It's that simple. There are also a few settings that you can adjust. You can select which camera you'd like to display, which menu bar icon you prefer. You can also select the size of the popover window. I currently have it set on small, but you could also go with medium or large. This next app is for all you Spotify users. The default now playing widget in macOS works well enough. You can see if I click on it, it shows me what's playing at the moment. I also have access to media controls like pause, play, fast forward. Spot menu is an alternative to that, which allows you to see at a glance what's playing through Spotify. Right now, I have mine set up so that it shows both the artist and the name of the song. When you click on the spot menu icon, it actually shows you the album artwork as well as metadata for that song. You get your music controls like skip and pause, and it allows you to open Spotify directly from there. 
Aesthetically, I think this popover window just looks so much better than the default media widget. I really like that the album artwork is much larger. In the settings, you can select which metadata you want to see and which you'd like to hide. If you made it to this point in the video, thank you, I appreciate you, and just for that, I'm going to add a bonus app to the five that we've already talked about today. This one is called Semulov. Normally, in order to see any of these storage devices that you have connected to your Mac or to eject any of them, you'd have to navigate to Finder and you see them displayed under Locations. What Semilov does is it creates a menu bar icon that allows you to see a list of all your currently mounted and unmounted volumes, external disks, disk images, and networks. You can also eject them from here with a single mouse click. In the app's preferences, you have quite a few options. You can choose to show the number of mounted volumes in the menu bar itself, or even change the color of Semilov's icon. And a fun fact for you, which I didn't discover until I started doing research for this video, but Semilov is actually just the word volumes spelled backwards. If you found this video helpful, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment and let me know what some of your favorite Mac apps are. I'd be happy to hear from you in the comments as always. If you like this kind of content, I highly recommend that you check out my What's on my phone video where I talk about all of the iOS apps that I use on a daily basis. Take good care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.